good afternoon students today we are starting the new topic regarding the straight line motion mechanisms exact straight line motion mechanisms in the straight line mechanisms so we know that one of the most important factor of the constraint mechanism is that which is to permit only relative motion of an oscillatory nature along a straight line when the two elements of a pair which are having the surface contact with respect to relative motion which there the surface of one element is slides over the surface of another element then they may form a pair called lower pair so these topics we already discussed in the simple mechanisms the simple pair mechanisms that means these exact straight line motion mechanisms are the elements when the two elements are in contact they are in contact with the application of lower pairs so then what is the difference between uh, the straight line motion mechanisms the straight line motion mechanisms is to be permitted only in the relative motion of oscillatory nature that means the oscillatory motions will forms the straight line nature and it seems that the mechanisms used for this purpose called straight line mechanism actually we are having uh, two types of mechanisms which are having turning pairs and another thing is one sliding pair is to be used that means these straight line motion mechanisms will form the two types one mechanism is to be based on only turning pairs are to be required or are to be used and second type is one sliding pair the other may be a turning pair or a sliding pair we don't know the that but the main exact thing is these are the two varieties only we are having the turning pairs means that is called one type of mechanism that is straight line mechanism and the another one is either or one sliding pair or turning pair so it's compulsory having one sliding pair these two types of mechanisms may produce exact straight line motion mechanism or approximate straight line motion mechanism in this topic now we are going to discuss about the exact straight line motion mechanisms the principle adopted for a exact straight line motion is the product of the oa and ob is to be constant that is oa and ob is to be constant that means product means the multiplication the product the length of oa if you see in the diagram oa the length of oa and 
the length of ob those two are to be multiplied then it will form say constant value then the equation what we are framing here it is oa into ob equal to constant if this constant was satisfied by any mechanism then it will form the straight line motion mechanism that means oa into ob equal to constant means that mechanism will form the straight line motion mechanism for explaining this let us consider a diagram whether it forms the straight line motion or not this is the diagram what we have cleared about let o is the point which is on the circumference of the circle this is the circle there we are having the o is the one end of the circle or a point on the circumference of the circle which are all having the diameter op op is the diameter and let oa is the chord chord means which is which is a part of the circle of definite or indefinite length that means the position of a will reciprocates the or will represents the length of oa suppose if it is the case here a the length of oa may be compared with this suppose the movement of a is to be transferred to here a dash suppose the length of oa and the proportionately by extending this this is maybe b dash this will form the straight line then and b is a point on the oa when we produced it produced means when we extend it okay so here what we are doing then the locus of the point b will forms the straight line so the point b will forms the straight line which is perpendicular to oq or op which is of diameter op this may be proved that for the proving let us draw a bq a perpendicular line to the op so we are drawing a perpendicular line op we are drawing a perpendicular line bq which is perpendicular to op extension okay op is the diameter of the circle so here then join the ap then join ap these will form the isosceles triangles or symmetrical triangles what are the triangles means triangle o a p and the one more triangle is triangle o b so these two are the similar triangles so what is the final equation we need to find out is o a in oa into ob is to be always constant so that is to be we need to satisfy then coming to the procedure okay when we come to the picture that is we have the triangle oap that is equals to triangle bo suppose these two are the triangles
where the angle is 90 degrees. See here, OAP or BO. Okay, they are the 90 degrees angle. So these two are similar triangles. So hypotenuse, then the ratio of adjacent lines of the true triangles equal to ratio of hypotenuse of two triangles. So let us find out there. OA for this, this is OB by by. Then what is it? OP for this OP, this is O Q. Then when these two are similar triangles, OA by OP equal to OB by sorry. Here it is the O Q by O B. I'm saying the triangles O A P equal to triangle. O Q B. These two are 90 degrees. Then from the triangles, the ratio of adjacent light lines of two triangles equal to ratio of hypotenuse of the two triangles. What is the hypotenuse? That means if you see the triangle, this is A. This is O, this is P. Okay, in the same way, this is Q, this is O, and this is B. Then, what is the meaning? When the two triangles are same, O, A by Hypotenuse is OP equal to OQ by OB. This is the two triangle similar. Then cross it out this OA into OB equal to OQ into OP. Then here OP is the constant value since the diameter of the circle is may not be changed. So OP is the constant value. OK, then what about the OQ? OQ is also a constant since OA and OB is a constant value. So automatically OQ is also a constant. So the entirely. Hence the B. That means what OQ OA into OB will forms the constant. So B will forms. B is moving in the straight line motion perpendicular to OP. So this is the final value. So whenever the OA and OB is the product is constant, then what is the value will form the straight line? So then we will go for the some particular mechanisms of exact straight line motion. This is the one of the type of exact straight line motion mechanism. If you see the diagram, the circular mechanism, the circular mechanism will consist of. So while we are doing the, it's not a uh, tough thing to solve. Since we are describing the, what is the diagram here? That's the pro main thing. So if you see the diagram, the same thing only, what is the diagram? 
we are having here the same thing we are giving the subject matter related to that only so here final thing is if you see the, in the diagram if you see finally o a and o b is to be constant then b is to be frame of the straight line that is the final thing end of the thing is same for all the diagrams but the mechanism diagram is different so the mechanism diagram is to be explained in a theoretical manner so what are the data here available same thing was related to the diagram only so see here we are just explaining the diagram here we are having how many number of links see that one that is o o1 o o1 next o c o1 a b c d b a d a c okay o d these are the main links we are having here so the same thing we are explaining and at the same time o o1 is the fixed link that is the main thing so it consists of a fixed link o o1 and the others straight Links are what is see here O one A O one A O C O D O C and this is O D A D D A D D B B C and C A. These are all connecting in a turning pair. What is that? What is we are already discussed that. turning pair the pin point a the pin point a is constrained to move along the circumference of a circle see the a point is connected to the circumference of this circle and it is moved about a radius about a radius o1 a see this is the radius let us consider o1a is the about to move for the circumference of a circle from a fixed point o1a if you see here in a closely manner o1a it may be equal to o1p see the length of o1a is at p it may be equal so we are writing o1a equal to O one P, and the pin point is constructed moved along the circumference of the circle with the fixed diameter O P by means of the link O one A. The A, I mean, the pin point A is moving throughout the circumference of the circle at a distance of diameter O P by means of a link O one A that we already discussed. Then, whatever the if you see in the diagram uh, clearly. A C B C D B A D. These four are the equal links. You see, it's just like a square. So A C C B B D and D A are the equal links. And at the same time, we closely observe O C O C and O D are also equal links. And O O one and O one A are also the equal. here we are just explaining the what is the schematic layout what we have constructed here in the diagram the same to be written in the sentences manner okay then what we need to prove so the length of product of oa and the length of product of ob is to be constant when the link o1a is rotating about the center o1 so for that we are doing the just join the cd to bisect ab line at r so this is the r now we are framing this with that we have framed to here also 
to triangles. What are the triangles? So when the CD bisects, when the CD bisects the AB at R, there will form a two triangles, right angle triangles. One is O R C and B R C. These two are the right angle triangles. If you see. See here, this is the or this is the C and this is the O. In the same way, R B. C. So here right angle. Then in the same way, if you see here, we need to find the relation between OA into OB is to be constant. Then only the B will forms the straight line, which is perpendicular to the OP. This is already discussed in the simple mechanics. OK, then let us check it out for these two triangles. O C square first triangle O C square is equals to O R square plus R C square. This is the first equation. Then B C square is equals to R B square plus R C square. This is the second equation. By subtracting these two, subtracting two minus one. That means BC square minus OC square is equals to RB square RC square minus OR square minus RC square. These two will get cancelled. So RB square minus OR square. So BC square minus OC square equal to this is just like a square minus b square relation. This is just like a square minus b square. What is the formula for a square minus b square? a plus b into a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Then you just multiply with negative value on both these sides. O R minus R B into R B plus O. See here, come to the diagram. O C C O C square minus B C square is equals to RB plus OR. What is meant by RB plus OR? Or otherwise, we can write it this RB or BR plus RO, isn't it? Or otherwise, OR plus RB. What does it mean? The total length will be OB, isn't it? So into OB, is it okay? Then what does it mean by OR minus RB? The total length is OR. See here, the total length is OR minus RB. Since RB equal to 
R A. Is it okay? R A is equals to R B. So in the total length of O R, if you subtract this value from the total length of O R, if you subtract this value, what about the remaining thing? O A only. So O A since R B is equals to R A, then then what about the value O A into O B is to be constant. Then what about the length of O C and O R? This is the constant length. We know that. And what about the B C? This is also a constant length of the links. So when these two are constant, the squares also constant, and the differences of these squares will also be a constant. So that the B, the B. Will traces the straight line which is perpendicular to the diameter OP. So this is also proved for the exact straight line motion mechanism. So this is a very simple way. Firstly, what is what we need to do is in a circular mechanism, just to write it the number of links are available, and what are the equal lengths of links, and which one are the turning plates, and which one are the fixed plates. Then simply uh, just for getting the O A into O B that to be constant, take it out the some relation by analyzing the triangles. These two triangles are to be symmetrical or similar triangles. What are the triangles O C R and B R C? So. Uh, when we solve these two, finally we get it the relation between OA and OB is always to be constant. Then coming to the next method, next mechanism. So this is the final thing. Coming to the next one, Hart's mechanism. So in the previous case, how many number of links are there? If you see, this is a circular diagram. How many number of links? This square will having four. This is five. This is six, seven, eight. The circular circular mechanism is having eight links. But coming to the Hart's mechanism, it is having only six links. So this is the main advantage. This mechanism requires only Six links when compared with the circular mechanism, which is having eight links to be required to frame the mechanism. So, what are the eight, six links we need to know? So, it consists of what is the fixed link? The same. How many number of links? O, O1, which is fixed. Next, O1A. Next to CF. And F E C D. Okay. Next one two. And uh, one two three. Okay. O one A. F C. C D. Next lastly D E. D E is there. D E. This. These are the main uh, links which are having six, and at the same time, O O one is only the fixed one. All the remaining or that means the remaining five are to be of having turning plates. Okay, then the link F C, the link F C and D E are all equal. F C and D E are both are equal lengths, and at the same time F E. And C D, these two are the F E and C D are the equal lengths. Then, which one is to be required of framing this straight line? The points O A B, the points O A B will divide the link of F C. The points O, A, B are the intersection points or division of the lines. C F O 
is dividing the CF line or CF link. And next, A is dividing the CD line and B is dividing the EF line. A little will consideration will show that BOCE is a trapezium. See here, B O C B O C and E. This will form C a trapezium. It is just like a like this C O B E. This will form a, a trapezium. It may be is to be so if the so that there it is having a, a. So this O A B will form the straight line. It may be for this O A into O B is to be constant. That we need to prove it out. So let us come to the proof of that. If you see in the triangle FCE, O and B will divide FC and EF in the same ratio. If you see the triangle FCE, the triangle will look like like this. This is F, this is C, this is E. In this triangle, O and B, this is O, and uh, here we are having a B, and there we are having A. The O will divide C, F, C, and uh, EF in the same ratio. So since it is a, a trapezium, for the same ratio, OC by CF. So OC by CF equals EB by EF. Similarly, for the same triangle, OB is parallel to CE. OB is parallel to CE. In the same way for the triangle, FCD. For the triangle FCD, how much the diagram will be? F, C, D. For this triangle, OA is parallel to F. And again, we are having so many similar triangles. From similar triangles, C, F, E, and O, F, B. C F E and O F D. So both are same. See here, C F E. This is the only one triangle, and half of this is this is the one more triangle. For this, C E by F C. C E by F C is equals to O B by O F, or O B is equals to C into O F by F C. This is the equation number one. And from the another triangle similarity, triangle F C D and O C A. The O A. 
from these triangles f b by f c is equal to o a by o c which implies o a is equals to o c into f b by f c this is the second equation what we need to find out o a into o b na so o c into f b by f c into c e into o f by f c with that o e sorry o f o f into c e into o c into f d by 2 f c square so it is f c square then if you see these values in the diagram what are the fixed one is there any changes in the length of the o f you see o f is already fixed one that means o f is fixed then what about the length of o c it is also o f is fixed that means c f is already fixed c f is already fixed and at the same time o c is also fixed so finally what about the f d is there any this f d it is not a link it is an proportionate of link which may vary with respect to the condition of this so f d into what about the c c also not having any link so this is also a proportionate value so c e into the remaining all the three So all these are constant values, except F D and C. The remaining are constant, no changes. Now coming to next one. From the point E, we need to examine now. From point E, draw a. draw a em line which is parallel to cf so for cf parallel from draw a em that is an imaginary line c and and en perpendicular to ft draw a en perpendicular to this ft since we need to know the fd and the ce values whether it is constant or not so for that from e draw a parallel line to cf and a perpendicular line to ft then therefore F D into C E. So multiply the lengths. F D into C E equal to F D into F N. Isn't it? Then, how to write it? The F D into F N. F D into C E. This is the value we need to know. This. is to be shown as a constant value so we need to show that this is to be constant since these two are equal so fd how to write it the uh, fd and fm so if you see the fm fm means similar of the ce so we can write it the f fm as ce so fd into c here fd into ce is to be constant so fd 
C is equals to FM. So we are writing the same it as. Then write it that. Then what about the FD? FD we will write it as FN plus ND. Totally FD into FN minus MN. FN minus MN. It is equals to C. So these two are similar. This is equals to MN or uh, MN is equals to this is perpendicularly bisecting. So MN is equals to ND. We can write it that FN plus ND into FN minus. We can write it MN is equals to ND. So with that, this is M. See here, A plus B into A minus B. That is A square minus B square. So FD into C value. Then in the same way, Fn square. We don't know the Fn. For that, see Fe square. How to find it? This this is just like a triangle. This is just like a E F N. To find the F N value, how to F E square minus N E square. This is a mathematical minus. What about the N D square? So this is also a triangle where this is N, this is D, this is E. So for what about the nd square? That is d e square minus n e square. So multiply, do all the operations. n e square minus d e square plus n e square. They, these two will be get cancelled. So automatically f e square minus d e square. See what about the f e? This is the constant value. OK, this is over. What about the D? This is also the constant. So the FD into CE equal to constant. So in the previous case, what about the final equation? OA into OB equal to FD into CE into constant. This is already constant. It was over. What about the C, FD and CE? This is also constant. So OA into OV equal to constant. Then, therefore, it will follow that if the mechanism is proved that about the point O, which is a fixed point, the point A is to be constant to move on a circle with the center O, then the point B will form the straight line motion mechanism. But, but here we need to uh, note the important point that this mechanism has a great practical disadvantage that even when the path of B is very short and a large amount of space is taken by the mechanism, this mechanism will be require a larger space so that this mechanism may not be uh, suitable for most of the cases then coming to the next method is uh, one sliding pair scott russell mechanism see if you see this diagram we can slide a reciprocating engine it's just like a reciprocating engine. See, this is just like a piston, and this is just like a connecting rod, and this is just like a crank. So it is just like a, a point O. This is called a piston. This is a fixed link. This is A, and this is B. 
so it consists of a fixed member and a moving member p of a sliding pair and the straight link p a q is connecting by a turning pair to that of the link oa and the link p the link oa is rotating about the fixed point or center point o and if you see that the mechanism oap will looks like a reciprocating engine where oa is a crank and ap is the crank shaft or a connecting rod and this mechanism called the straight line motion mechanism which is not generated but it may be almost copied so it just like a reciprocating engine but it is not be the same so coming to the scott russell mechanism it consists of uh, four links in that one is sliding pair and the remaining three is uh, turning pairs among the four links three are turning pair and the one is sliding pair the straight line paq is connected by the turning pairs to the links oa and the link p the link oa will uh, moves about the center o and if you see in the diagram a is the middle of pq and oa is equals to aq equal to pa that means here a is the middle of the straight line which are having q a p this line is bisecting at a which are at the middle so that uh, aq is equals to ap and at the same time the crank what is it look like a crank that is oa this is also the length may be equal the, the instantaneous center for the link paq is light at the point i in oa extension the i is the here uh, here i is the instantaneous center which is by proceeding the oa for the extension and draw the well, perpendicular lines from q and p such that ip is ip is perpendicular to op ip is perpendicular to op and then join the oq this q makes a perpendicular to IQ. So this already we have explained. Then, if you see the diagram, there is a, a rectangular shape. There is a rectangular shape of O Q I P. There it is A. the q will moves along the vertical line o q the so q will moves in the vertical line o q for all the positions of q p hence the q traces the straight line motion about the o q line this is the o q line so whenever the movement whatever may be the movement of p this q will form the right line across the oq if the oa moves in one complete revolution 
when the field will oscillates along the line op through a distance of 2 oa so if this is oa is rotating one complete revolution then the op will be oscillates about 2 oa that means two times of the length on each side of the o and it will be oscillated along the oq toward the distance which is above the below the o which is about to start up and down that is from like this and like this so from o we are generating of the distance o q in up and o q dash in the downward so the total is equal to two times of o e the friction and wearing of these uh, sliding plates is much more better than this turning plate so therefore the mechanism is not much of practical value so this is not be the practical since the friction is very higher in the sliding plate and at the same time so that uh, the wearing also will be higher so friction is higher means the wearing is also the higher so that uh, this is not practically applicable for the things for the using of this mechanism so this is the completion of uh, the exact straight line motion mechanism you simply just to remember that what is the straight line motion mechanism for the functioning of this what is the equation we need to prove that is oa into ob is equals to constant values and the straight line motion mechanisms will be formed based on two things one is only turning plates and second one is at least one sliding plate these are the two varieties of mechanisms so coming to here today we discussed about the perslinear mechanism and hartz mechanism perslinear mechanism which is consists of uh, eight links and uh, in that turning plates are there there the oa and ob is to be constant has been proved so that this mechanism is approved and the second case hart mechanism in there also six links are there there the thing is the same applicable of oa into ob was to be constant it is also proved that so this mechanism also very happy but the coming to the straight line straight line mechanism of a one slider motion mechanism that is a scott russell mechanism there it's just like a modification or it's a copied from the reciprocating engine of oap their oa is the crank and ap is the uh, connecting rod so the the, the movement of p when the crank is rotating that is oa is rotating throughout the circumference of the circle the extension of oa is of oq which travels a sliding which is doubles to the rotation of the crank that means uh, the crank is when the crank is rotating is about uh, circumference for one complete revolution the oq will slide two times of oa so that the sliding will may occurring of higher friction and wearing so that this scott russell mechanism may not be uh, applicable for the practical so these are the things we have uh, noted down in the today's class in the next class we will see the approximate striking motion mechanism and the, what are the types of uh, those things we will discuss in the next class okay thank you